down on the bank. I could get down there, but I don't think I could get back up. See what he can find. Oh, don't see anything good except the duck. Yep, there's a duck. A duck rescue. Flambeau, friend. Cool. Too bad it wasn't an old wooden one. That would have been cool. Wouldn't it, though? And it flies. <laughs> Yeah, That's cool though. These vines, I don't think I'd make it back up here. Do you need a hand? Um, no, I'm all right. Okay. Enough stuff to grab. All right. Well, I finally decided since it... Get a longer stick than that, Gil. You need a big one. Uh, well... You, you, you need a bigger stick, Gil. That's too little. Oh, that's oh my goodness. You know how far their necks can come out? Yeah, that's a pretty big one. About a 30, 35 pound. Yeah? Yeah, he is. No, because everything's broken. You think? They can be deceptive. Uh huh. Yeah, they can like burrow in a little bit, you know. I believe it's another sign of the times. Yeah, yeah. Nature left and right. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I got, I got these squirrels in my house that totally lost all their hair. Oh no. Oh, they went the little turtle. I don't believe he's alive. Because my vibrations would have at least perked him up by now. You think? Would have looked at me, but he's not alive. I don't know, Gil. Right. Why wouldn't he take off when I start? He's he's lifted his head out of the water though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why yeah, watch it. Yeah, they can be nasty, can't it? Yes. Good thing they don't run very fast. Yeah, he, he's alright, he's still alive. They don't have to run fast with as far as their necks come away. Right. It just seems his tail's got so much mud on it. Thank you for calling that to our attention. Yeah, right. He's probably like 40, 50 years old. He's around there. He's big. Yeah, he's big. All right, he's alive. Okay. Yay. Well, okay, this is a huge rock. Gil and I are down on the Saginaw River. And it's not cement, it's a natural rock. And looking at the depression in it, makes me wonder if it had been used as a as a really huge like mortar for the Native American people. If it is, it's one of the big, it's the biggest one I've ever encountered. I think that's what it was myself. Let me know what you all think. And then next to it is another one, not quite as big. It's on a hick. I'm gonna put that one in Gil's bike. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Seeing that it's cracked in half, you take half, I'll take half. <laughs> that looks almost like a volcano. Yeah, it does, yeah, exactly. And it could be a natural formation, but um, I would think if the Indians had seen it, they would have taken advantage of it. Sure, yeah. You know what it almost looks like, too? Hmm. That that piece was, if you flip it over, it fit right into that piece. Don't this it? one? Yeah, if you flipped it Yeah, over, you know, it almost does. It looks like it fit into that. Maybe back in the days when giants walked Michigan's woodlands. Ow! <laughs> That's the biggest arrowhead I ever saw. It really, this log, really cool piece. Whatever. Well, it probably is, but. Those are common, aren't they? Fairly, ouch, son of a bitch. Ooh, what the hell was that? And I find one always. Glass. Oh, that. That's what I got cut with. Anyways, I want to see what it is. Because it's got a thicker lid than it. Wow. Is it bigger than you thought? No, it's really stuck in there. I'm going to put this right here. I can see. Right behind you is a good digger. What? It's got a point on it. That, oh, cool. Isn't that cool? Vampire steak. Yeah. It's like an old mailbox. Oh. It's colder. Well, it, it's not ponds. No. And it is bigger. But oh, it not is a huge. large one, isn't it? Yeah, it is huge. Pass that up to you. Grab it? Yeah, please. Any writing on it? I didn't look. Doesn't look like it. But I wonder, with all the glass sticking out here... Beautiful day on the river. Hey, we're on to another spot on the river. This one is often productive for one or two things. So we'll see. Depends on what you want to find. It's like a metal bird head. Suck. It does, doesn't it's like it? Like a duck head, yeah. Come here, ducky, make yourself useful. 
Looks like a bird stone. It's not. An Indian bird stone. Yeah, I gotta check out this wild algae down here on these rocks. Looks like they grow in here. And it's like so cool. I know I've shown these before, but there's a, a very large graphite crucible that was used at the foundry that used to be here. And there's a lot of them here, a lot of pieces of them. Another big base here. Pieces of them laying all over. I have a couple nice ones at home. Out in the water. When I first found them, I thought they were Indian pots until I looked closely at them. That's a nice one. And there's a spout from one. I have a spout at home too. I don't see too many of them. Here's a piece of uh, uh, carnival glass. Looks like it's got a spider's web on it. The, um, and then while I had the camera off, I found this little piece of a pillar. child's and, and cup. Nothing, um, nothing here, extremely here, 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 exciting, here, but, right. but fun none, none the less. But I don't see, oh, there's some kind of a hook. I'll take that too, why not? This might have been, I wonder if this was part of it, it's part of a hasp, I bet you it was. Those probably went together. Here's another file, Found another file back there. So, I wonder what that is. Crucible, I wonder what that white thing is. Looks like a, a bear, it's a bear. Can you it's reach a porcelain it? bear, yeah. Oh, well, by golly. It, you can, it's you missing half. There was a oh, I don't care. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. It's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> All right. That was we the right person. It's the right person to find that. Cat, yeah. <laughs> Oops, cool. Did look like a bear, though, didn't it? Yeah, it did at first. <laughs> All right, that's probably my best find today. Okay, I just found this on the ground, and it's <clears throat> iron. And it is an old lumbering wedge from the lumbering days here on the Saginaw River. That's a nice find. That and the kitty cat that I found are my two favorite finds thus far today. Um, I've uh, been having a great day out here today after the treatment that I had last week. So, uh, there she is. My chariot. <laughs> 18 speeds. And despite the pain I have in my legs and that riding bike does not hurt me at all. Hey Shadow, here comes my little girl Shadow. Are you hungry baby girl? I'll get you something. Come on, come on, I'll get you something. How's the kittens doing, huh? How's the little kittens doing? Hey, she's a little skinny mama now. She just had kitties. But anyways, I'm gonna do a recap of what we found on the river today. My favorite piece is this little kitten. And I don't know but she was part two, maybe a toothpick holder or match holder, something like that. What's the matter, G or Shadow? Huh? Um, plastic duck, plastic duck decoy, um, which I like. I think they're kind of cool. And it is uh, from Flambeau. That would be a mallard. Yes, mallard. Very nice. Uh, plain white bottle, early 1900s. Um, Here's the uh, the logging wedge. Some various metal pieces. Um, move this over here. We can see. I thought this was kind of neat because these pieces, I believe, went together. And then uh, there's that little child's cup as pointed out to you. This piece of carnival glass with a web design on it, and a pearl, or excuse me, other pearl button. We'll pick this up. It looked like a duck's head, bird's head, kind of cool. A couple of gr uh, grinders. Most of the material here, except the plastic uh, mallard, are from the lumber era. Then there's this cap. I don't know what it's to, but it says something on the inside. It says, uh, use monkey wrench. And I can't read what it says under that. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit, see if I can find a date on it. See if there's any backstory to it. Files are something to find a lot on the river. They were important tools 
in the lumbering era right down through the industrial era this uh, piece I've seen these before but I can't remember what they are for and then a wicked wicked sharp uh, spike so those are what we found today some kind of cool stuff hope you enjoyed taking the adventure with us and say hi to everybody shadow say mark 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 I guess she's not going to speak right now. She's too busy eating. <laughs>